Hey everybody, I want to show you some of my favorite places to take photos in Pensacola Beach and in Pensacola. Let's go check it out. Starting with the Pensacola Beach Fishing Pier. This is located on Pensacola Beach and it is 1,471 feet long. This is used to fish or just to wander on a nice day. It was recently damaged in Hurricane Sally, but it is currently open and where most people will find a great photo spot on top of the pier. I love the picture from underneath. The never ending view of these strong pillars and caution, yes, you may get wet. All right, next up is the Pensacola Beach Ball. This is in the Casino Beach parking lot and it was built in 2005. It was supposed to be demolished, but it was sold and painted into the beach ball that it is today. It is so exciting to see this beach ball as you arrive on Pensacola Beach. It is quite the icon and literally the center of attention on the beach. It is loved by many and you'll see it captured in photos and artists work everywhere. With a little bit of help taking a picture, you can get the perfect photo of this beach ball in your hand or your fingertips. Good luck. Next is the Pensacola Beach sign. In 2019, the RV resort owner bought this sign for $10,000 to put at the Sneaky Tiki Bar. It is a great spot to go and sit at the fire pit and have a drink. It's a great little place to watch the sunset. And also a bonus at the Sneaky Tiki Bar is this beautiful love sign with the waterfront view. It's amazing. And I was sneaking on their Facebook site and they have a bicycle that will blend a drink. How cool is that? You gotta give it a try. Also just park over by the shrimp basket parking lot and take the path down to the Tiki Bar. You might be looking for a sign. Another sign is the Pensacola Beach sign at Flounders Stage. This is the sailfish sign. This was the original sign that lit the way to Santa Rosa Island since the 1950s. And actually you'll find a similar sailfish sign without those letters at the Frisky Dolphin. And speaking of flounders, they have such an eclectic collection of things. <laughs> there's a larger than life chair, there's a large man-eating clam, and a hippie van. Next up is the Pensacola Beach Boardwalk Seashell. This is an iconic landmark right on the amphitheater stage. If no special event or live music is taking place, take a picture by the shell while you make the rounds at the boardwalk. Also, don't forget about these beach access walkovers. Just outside of Casino Beach, on either side, you'll find walkovers made of boardwalks or just natural ones out of sand. They're simple and elegant, but they make for a really great photo. And from Pensacola Beach, we're gonna head over the bridge to Pensacola. Next up is Graffiti Bridge. This railroad trestle was built in 1888. In 2007, it was vandalized and the city of Pensacola recognized this as a place for legal graffiti. Now Graffiti Bridge art has expanded to the parking lot and even the railroad above, which is a unique expression of art and love that is constantly changing. Next up is Greetings from Pensacola Postcard. This is on the 12th Avenue Brewery in Pensacola in East Hill. It is a huge wall mural, 14 by 21 feet, done by Patty Galipsy in 2017. This is an absolute must take picture spot. Next up is Seville Square, downtown Pensacola. This natural wonder of craggly oak trees in the middle of historic district used to be a public square back in 1814. There's a gazebo and these limb braces that hold up these huge trees. They also hold yearly jazz festival and seafood festivals here. I like to call it Jazz Park. If these trees could talk, what a story this would be. And lastly, I want to leave you with a couple of fun bonuses. One is a couple of the tree tunnels. There's one in the historic district on this little fun path. And I'll leave the location in the description, but I thought it was just really pretty. There's also another tree tunnel over on 12th Avenue, and it is actually a charming canopy of large oak trees. It's a Pensacola landmark and hurricanes have done some damage, but it is still beautiful. I love driving through it. And also some fun, you guys, there are some fun shark sculptures over on Pensacola Beach. Go check them out. My favorite here is on Shaggy's. You can climb in and pretend that you've been eaten by a shark. There's another one hanging, a large shark at the marina. And there's also another fun one at 
flounders in the backyard. And that concludes my photo tour of Pensacola Beach and Pensacola. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon.